diet and nutrition, exercise, sleep. For a long time, scientists tried to tell us that, that was the order of priorities to create optimal well-being, best possible health. That's not what they think anymore. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. I'm really glad you came by here today because this may well be the most important information you ever discover. I know it sure was for me. You see, the most important part of your life turns out to be sleep and getting all the different stages and all the different kinds of sleep for the right amount of time at the right timing because your circadian rhythm, when your body does certain functions, they all depend on you getting enough sleep and no six hours is not enough sleep. Think about Margaret Thatcher. Think about Ronald Reagan. They bragged about the fact that they slept about four hours a night and they were functioning so well. Well, both of them developed Alzheimer's. And you know what? Used to be psychologists thought that all the different psychotic diagnoses explain why people didn't sleep. Guess what we know now? It's the lack of sleep that causes the depression, the anxiety, the bipolar. It's the lack of enough REM sleep that causes the bullying, the violence, the increased car crashes, truck crashes, the dementia, and the Alzheimer's. It's the lack of good, healthy sleep. Now this book is about the scariest thing I ever read because I didn't realize just how pervasive not getting a good night's sleep could be. But the good news is it can be easily corrected. And things like with teenagers, you know the, is it number one, number two, the cause of death, the major cause of death, it's car accidents. And when their schedules are changed, as is happening in Europe, U.S. seems to be behind on all these health issues. In Europe, where they're adjusting so that teenagers get to sleep later in the morning, go to school later, dramatic, dramatic reduction in the number of car crashes, number of reversals, and the bullying, and the violence, all these things going on in our insane society. It's because sleep has become an epidemic. Now that book is scary because it's telling you all these things. On the other hand, it's the best news there is because knowing all these things lets you take action. And in fact, the author, Matthew Walker, gives you very specific plans that will work for society, for government, for you to do in your everyday life. I cannot recommend this book, Educate Yourself. It's extraordinary, in-depth, detailed information, and a pointer if you're reading the Hold In Your Hand book. When you're reading this, it has the best index I have ever seen of any book that I've ever read, which makes it easy to find the information that you are after. On the other hand, if you're someone who likes to listen to your books, Audible will give you a free 30-day trial where you can download that book and a couple of others free for 30 days. And then if you decide not to go ahead and become a member of Audible, you get to keep the book. So it's a win-win situation for you. And you can find how to get your free trial by following that link. So what are you going to do today to change your life? I mean, weight gain. 
moods, relationship issues, you name it. And it's probably a byproduct of not getting enough quality sleep. Also, be sure you sign up because the timing is just perfect for signing up for this summit on getting the best sleep. And you can find that information in the link below and also below this video. Take advantage of what the universe is providing for you so you can live your very excellent life. I'm Ellie Beerman, and you can find more of my videos right on YouTube. Subscribe so you never miss one.